Thank you.
a room full of memories, the medals, the photographs, and yes, the trinkets from the travels. They reminded us of our darling daughter, whose brief life shone so brightly. It's a fitting place to remember her. She opened the park to the public at the height of her fame in 1936, and she was treated just like a Hollywood movie star. In brilliant sunshine, a crowd of 15,000 fans greeted Mrs. Amy Mollison and her husband Jim with a terrific cheer as the two famous aviators drove in an open car to the steps of Sylvia Hall, birthplace of the current air minister, Viscount Susan. The women's orchestra struck out the popular tune, Amy Wonder the Lady, and she told the crowds, I am proud to come from Yorkshire. It is Yorkshire that is responsible for the spirit which makes me want to keep going. And keep going, she said, we did. They live for nothing else. She bought herself flying lessons at the London Aeroplane Club and gained a pilot's A license. For the second and gypsy on the bike plane, which she called JC after the family business trademark. But with relatively little flying experience, she then surprised not just our family, but the whole world. Behold all the rest, a pretty gilded haired young woman of 22 arrived at Croydon area to begin an epic solo flight to Australia. Miss Amy Johnson's aim is to beat the record of 15 and a half days put up by aviator Bart Hinton. I saw her off, quieting a few friends. My life was too full of tears to say goodbye. But by the time she reached the first stop over, every detail of her adventure had been broadcast to the world. A young airwoman has made a perfect landing at Constantinople. The flying munitions were fine, she said, with a radiant smile. Broken down in the desert by a sandstorm, the 22-year-old English girl used her flying bags to chop the wheels of her plane to prevent it being blown away. She waited two hours for the storm to pass, revolver in hand, lest any Arab tribesman might appear. <laughs> Thank you.